one time about a man that had a German Shepherd dog. He lived out on a ranch, farm country. He had small children. Then a baby was born into the family. And his family, his friends, his neighbors told him, said, said, you better get rid of that dog. Said, that dog could turn vicious. They, they warned him about how the German shepherds could turn. And they warned him, said, you, you'll come home some of these days from out in the field, said, that dog will have killed your baby. And they just kept talking to him about that. And he got to thinking, you know, they may be right. They may be right. That dog might decide to kill my baby sometime when I'm gone, my wife is gone. The dog took up the habit of laying right in front of the crib of that baby and wouldn't leave. He kind of got worried about it, but he never did do anything about it. One day, him and his wife was gone, left one of the larger children and the dog to watch the baby. The baby went to sleep. The younger, the older child put the baby in the crib. The dog was laying there by the baby. And she went off doing something else about the house and outside playing. It was while she darted back in, see the baby was all right. The dog's still laying there. Everything's fine. Looked like it was kind of hot, so she raised the window by the baby's crib so the baby gets some air and she went about to play. Baby went to sleep. Dog's laying there. Mother and daddy gone. After a while, daddy come home out of the field. And whenever he come up to where he was, been out in the, with his axe of chopping wood, clearing land, whatever, come back with his axe across his shoulder. When he come up on the yard, opened the gate, the dog come out of the house. The dog came out of the house. He came out of the house with his tongue licking his, licking his mouth. Blood was all over his mouth. Blood was all over his head. Blood was on his body, on his body. And the first thing the man thought about, my God, that dog has killed my baby. That dog has killed my baby. And of course the dog come out licking his lips and wagging his tail toward the man. The man took that double bit axe and he began to chop that dog. And he hit that dog and he knocked him to the ground. And the dog tried to get away and he kept a hit him and he gashed him and he cut him. And he kicked him and he stopped him and he cut his head. And he gnashed out his brains and he cut his body. And he made sure he was dead. Dead, dead, dead. And then he threw the axe down, running right the house to where his baby was, expecting to find the baby laying there, all mutilated, all torn apart, dug out of the crib and laying on the floor and strung and strolled with little and, and limbs all over the place. But instead, he found the baby fast asleep in the crib, just like he'd left him. But on the floor was a, was a timber wolf that had come through that they open window, and that dog that was laying there to protect that baby, he attacked that wolf, and around and around they went in that house, and in that room, and he fought that wolf, and he fought him until finally he cut his throat. He cut him, he cut his throat, the blood gushed out all over his head, all over his body. He dug him out there in the middle of the floor, and made sure it was dead, and left him there in the middle of the floor, come out to meet his master. When the man stepped to the door in shock and fright, seen that the baby was all right and seen that he killed the dog that had saved his baby, he said, no, oh no, oh no. He went back outside. He gathered up the broken bone of that dog. He got his head and laid it up in his coat to his bosom. Blood all over it. He picked that bundle of dog up. He got him close to his bosom. And he said, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I I didn't know. I thought you killed my baby. I thought you killed my baby. But you was my best friend. You saved my baby. You saved my baby. Go ahead. Go ahead, stompy butcher. Go ahead and kill him. Go ahead and slice him. Go ahead and kill him. Make sure he's dead. Make sure he's dead. But you'll wake up. You'll wake up to find that he's your best friend. That he's the one that has been protecting your children. He's the one that has lay awake and fought the wolves and the beasts and hell. Yes, sir, he fights the spirits. The spirits of hell that try to destroy our children. That try to destroy our family. But the preacher is there to fight them. Yes, sir. Round and around they go. Round and around they go. It's a battle. But go ahead, stop it. Kick it, cut it, slam it, do everything.
way you can. Leave him die, bleeding, broken, died. But you'll wake up to the fact that he has been your best friend. He was your best friend. He was your best friend. He saved your children. He saved your children. He saved your children. Oh, yeah.